where I'm safe, where I can be me. Secure. Oh, love and family, for sure. Safety. It's really like warm and inviting. Comfort. It's somewhere where we can go, where we can be ourselves. Netflix. You drive to the driveway and you, you feel like you're home. Oh, I'm home. Such a beautiful place to be. You can live alone and it still feels like a home. I think it's the backbone to our life. I think a home is where you make it, you know, and what you make of it. Calm and quiet and happy. You know, it's the parties that you have there. It's the, all the milestones in your life. We've had 21sts there, we've had 80ths. In grade four, I got homesick on a one-night camp. A lot of photos <laughs> and a lot of memorabilia there from football as well. I love coming home and, like, seeing my puppies and just being able to sleep in my own bed. The home's, although so humble, but it's home. If we've been on holidays or something and come back after a long time, I always open the door and say, hello, house, and, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's just great to be back. I've got a gate between my, each of my fences and everyone else's backyard. Every time I walk down the street, like there's always at least one person that you know. I like to bake and I want to share it even to the neighbourhood. I've got a next door neighbour that's quite elderly and she's still in her home. I, I live next to a 93 year old and um, she gets by okay. We quite often catch up and go out for a meal with her. You know, she says, they're my boys. As I grow older, I would rather change my home so I can, to suit me, I would never want to leave it. Home is a special place. Closeness. The dogs. It's the dancing and the fun, don't we, Bubs? <laughs>